This video is based on trusted medical sources, including Black Small Square Mayo Clinic, Conception and Pregnancy, 2023, Black Small Square National Institutes of Health, Human Embryology, 2024, Black Small Square Harvard Medical School, Reproductive Biology Lectures Black Small Square American College of Obstetricians and Gynecologists, Clinical Guidelines The science you're about to hear is verified, peer-reviewed, and medically accurate. Only one sperm made it. Out of over 300 million competitors, one fused with the egg. But fertilization isn't the end, it's just the beginning. In this video, we'll walk you through the first hour of your biological life, a moment-by-moment -moment journey, backed by real science. The sperm doesn't just crash into the egg. It must penetrate a layer called the zona pellucida, which protects the egg. To break through, the sperm releases powerful enzymes from its head. This is called the acrosome reaction. Once it succeeds, its membrane fuses with the eggs, and its genetic material, 23 chromosomes, enters. The egg then completes its final cell division and combines its 23 chromosomes with the sperms. Together, they form a complete set of 46 chromosomes, the first human cell. This is the zygote, the single cell from which every human begins. The moment one sperm gets in, the egg closes all doors. First, it changes its electrical charge, a fast block to prevent other fusions. Then it hardens the zona pellucida, a slow block that makes the egg impenetrable. This ensures only one sperm fertilizes the egg. If more than one entered, a condition called polyspermy, the embryo couldn't survive. About 30 minutes after fusion, the zygote begins to divide. It doesn't grow larger, instead, it splits into smaller parts in a process called cleavage. First two cells, then four, then eight, these are called blastomeres. All the early cells are identical, but they'll later specialize, forming organs, limbs, the brain, and more. You, as a person, began not as a heart or a head, but as eight indistinguishable cells dividing in the dark. As the zygote divides, it begins moving down the fallopian tube toward the uterus. This journey takes three to five days. Tiny hair-like structures called cilia gently push the embryo along. If the embryo implants outside the uterus, for example, in the tube, it results in an ectopic pregnancy. This condition is dangerous and cannot lead to a viable baby. But if the journey is successful, the embryo reaches the uterus as a hollow ball of over 100 cells, now called a blastocyst. Around day 6 to 10 after fertilization, the blastocyst attaches to the uterine wall. This process is called implantation. The blastocyst burrows into the uterine lining, a soft, blood-rich tissue that will support its growth. At this stage, the body begins producing HCG, human chorionic gonadotropin, the same hormone detected by pregnancy tests. This is the body's way of saying, life has officially begun. From here, the placenta begins to form. The embryo sends out signals. And within days, the tiny heart will begin to beat. All of this happens before you even miss a period, before most people know they're pregnant, and before a single organ is fully formed. In our next video, we'll follow this embryo as it begins to build a brain, spinal cord, and circulatory system. So make sure you subscribe, tap the bell icon, and join us for part 3 of the human journey. And now we'd love to hear from you. What surprised you most about the first hour of life? Drop a comment below, and we'll see you in the next video.